Down by three runs with as many outs to go, the Mariners completed their second come-from-behind victory of the weekend with a 6-5 to five upset over the Rangers in 10 innings on Sunday. This is Tidy Gonzalez, host of the Locked On Mariners podcast. The Mariners succeeded in their biggest goal heading into Sunday's game, which was to survive Rangers left-handed starter Martin Perez. And they did just that, getting to the seventh inning, tied at two apiece when Perez left this game. But shortly thereafter, unfortunately, the Mariners' bullpen imploded with Andres Munoz and Sergio Romo giving up a pair of home runs to Rangers hitters, making it 5-2 to two Texas and seemingly putting a nail in Seattle's coffin heading into the ninth inning. But Ty France and Eugenio Suarez said, wait just a second as France hits a solo home run to start off the ninth, and then Suarez getting his third and fourth RBI of the game with a game-tying double to send things to extras, where the Mariners pushed across the game-winning run on a wild pitch, and then Paul Seawall shutting the door on the Rangers to complete this come-from-behind win for the Mariners. A huge, massive win that came out of nowhere. It seemed like the Mariners were going to lose the series, but instead they get their third series victory in a row. That's huge. They've only done that twice this year. We're going to be talking about it all on tomorrow's episode of Locked On Mariners. And there, I'm going to try to get Colby to say something nice about Dylan Moore, who went three for four in this game. Check us out on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. We'll see you then. Peace.